The Philippines has recorded 81 new cases of the highly immune evasive XBB Omicron subvariant, according to the Department of Health. To tell us more, John Eric Mendoza is reporting live. Eric? The Department of Health Officer in Charge Maria Rosario Vergere announced Tuesday that the Philippines recorded 81 XBB Omicron subvariant of COVID-19. Vergere, in a press briefing, said this is based on the latest sequencing run of the Philippine Genome Center. Of the 81 cases, 70 were tagged as recovered, 8 are still ongoing isolation, while the rest of the 3 remaining cases are still being determined. The new XBB coronavirus subvariant is believed to be highly immune-evasive as people with antibodies against COVID-19 could still acquire it. The XBB is also said to cause the case surge in Singapore. Perhera further said the symptoms, the XBB subvariant is also similar to that of other Omicron subvariants. Singapore Ministry of Health said there is no evidence that the subvariant caused more severe infections. In a related development, Rehera said the country likewise detected 193 XBC Omicron subvariant in 11 regions. Of the 193 cases, the DOH official said 176 were tagged as recovered. Three remains on isolation, five were reported to have died, while the status of the remaining cases are yet to be determined. The head of the United Kingdom Health Security Agency is classifying XBC as a variant under monitoring and investigation. Neil? Mm -hmm. Eric, I was reading the news earlier this morning and uh, I know that this uh, particular subvariant uh, is, has spread in uh, Singapore. So what do we know so far about the XBB Omicron subvariant? Is this more transmissible and what is the degree of effect of the vaccines and the booster against uh, this uh, subvariant? Yes, Neil, uh, the XBB subvariant is said to be a highly immune evasive that could still infect people with antibodies against COVID-19. However, uh, there's no evidence that it leads to more severe infections of the present. No? Uh, but the Singapore experience case surge to, due to the subvariant. But as, he, uh, as health experts noted, the healthcare, the healthcare facilities of that country is not yet overwhelmed. Neil? Mm. Eric, I'm also curious about uh, the policy side of this story. Uh, has DOH said anything about recommending the possibility of closing borders or maybe the uh, possibility of implementing another lockdown? Yes, Neil. You know, well, you know, for that, we would have to refer to uh, President Bobong Marcos' previous pronouncements that he will not impose lockdowns due to the pandemic. And it seems that this XPB subvariant will not trigger that, uh, such measures because medical experts in Singapore the XBB is not more serious than other Omicron subvariants. And uh, it's worth pointing out that Singapore lifted its mask mandate in August, and now mm -hmm. their government said that they're not ruling out the reimposition of mask mandate indoors. As for the Philippine Department of Health, Rojera said the IATF does not yet see any indications to tighten the country's border restrictions from travelers and uh, she also emphasized that the country already has safeguards like the high number of Filipinos who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and the public behavior of uh, wearing face masks among other contingent measures. Okay, that's John Eric Mendoza reporting live.